eleven here. Yes. Good morning, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. 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 Good morning, Continuation. Yes, boys. You want to ask me anything? You want to ask me anything? Ma'am, you can continue. Hmm? Ma'am, you can continue. I just no doubt. Okay, better. So no doubt. So is is uh, you are representing the whole class? I think so. That means the whole yes, class didn't have it. Okay. So who will read better? We will read. Hello. Start reading, better. Yes, ma'am. From fiber of wool, for uh, obtaining wool, sheep are weird. Weird. They weird. Here, hair is cut and processed into wool. This process. Into kuna as reading, reading and braining of sheep. Can anyone else read better? Can anyone else start to read, please? Better you have to improve. You have to practice a lot. Okay. Can anyone else start to read? Hello, can you hear me, Vita? Yes, ma'am. Mom, is okay. Okay, can I read? Okay. Yes, yes, Vita. Read From properly, fiber please. Fiber to wool. Ma'am, I have one question. Tell me. Ma'am, when you are giving uh, number two notes, Vita, the thing is that see, I I can understand your chapter is over. Girls have not yet come to half because I missed out many lectures of them. You understand? Okay. So okay. I have to give both of you together. So they just should not suffer because your lectures were more than the, them. Okay. So they are behind you. They have still not finished the second lecture, Mita. So okay. I will be taking in this uh, uh, weekend uh, some extra lectures for them. So I think by two or three days I will send you the material. Okay, Mita. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. From fiber to wool, for obtaining wool, sheep are reared. Then hair is cut and processed. Your background, adjust your background. Lots of noise. Otherwise, you shift to a, a different place. Yes, continue. Zaki, continue. Hello. Ma'am, I can Zaki. read a sentence. Huh? What happened to Zaki? I don't. Okay. Yes, you can. Whoever wishes, let's not waste time. Okay. Continue. From fiber to wool. For obtaining wool, keep our yard. Their no, don't read like that. No, no, don't read like that. Please, no. This is not the way to read. But the sheep are reared. Does it? Don't pull the words. There's a reason that I wanted someone else to pick it up. Okay. Who, who can read? Ma'am, uh, that's I why I told you to practice. Better. That's why I told you to practice at home so many times. Because you are leading the class. I'm not able to follow how your friends can follow you. I'm not able to follow. I'm telling you. I'm not able to understand what you're saying. So I need a very simple type of reading. You understood better? Okay. Okay. You try if you can. Make it fast. Are your hair is cut and proceed into wood. This process 
is known as rearing and breeding of sheep like you are pulling the bird don't do that process is known as rearing no the process is known as rearing over do you get me that's the reason that it will need practice better you cannot do it just for you know in one go you cannot do that you it is a style of yours so don't pull the words that's the first thing that you have to understand don't pull the words so when you practice at home when you read the uh, pages the thing what whatever i am telling you please put that in your mind you will not pull the words and you will not stress certain uh, words you know you are uh, changing your tones don't do that for obtaining wool sheep are reared their hair is cut and processed into wool this process is known as rearing and breeding of sheep that's all okay okay now to get wool what people do what farmers do they are rear they rear the sheep that means they make them develop they make them grow from babies from lambs to sheep what they do they cut their hair and they process it into wool this process of developing or making the sheep from lamb and breeding is all about how we get the wool is it clear the process of getting more sheep is called breeding and the process of making a sheep from lamb is called as rearing did you understand hello boys yes me yes did you understand what i said just now yes yes the no, breeding means multiplying to have more babies is called breeding rearing means from the baby lamb we are developing a sheep that is called as rearing why are we doing so better bigger the sheep we will get more wool isn't it we get more wool if the sheep are big what do you say and after cutting the hair it is processed into wool this is what is all about what is written over here wool wool yes read wool is obtained from the no any someone else please who will read i need three four people to circulate among yourself please who wants to read give me your names beta boys zohair abbas zohair abbas this one second mohammad zaki zaki third and yes andura first sorry i'm not fazil just a moment a sorry i will call you fazil fazil will do Yes, ma'am. Okay, who's the fourth one? Nurani Medhiasan. Medhiasan. Fine. So all four of you, one by one, will take up the slide. Is it clear? You decide among yeah. yourselves. So who will do next? Fine. Now who will take up? Zaki, you start. Yes, ma'am. Wool is obtained from the fleece, hair of sheep, goat, camel, yak, llama, alpaca. and other animals these animals have a thick coat of hair on their bodies because the hair traps air and hair is a poor conductor of heat so the hair keeps their body warm the most common most common wool is sheep wool read properly read properly please yes i yeah, don't want any up and downs yak yeah, wool is common in tibet tibet, tibet. and ladakh The wool obtained from angora goats is soft wool used for making shawls. Camel hair is also used as wool. Okay, better. What do you found? What do you found, better? Types of wool and uh, better. Uh, well, we no, get the no, wool from. No, better. I'm talking about the way you read. What? Did you find difference? The way you read. Did yes, you find a difference? Yes. 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 So you wool think. we are getting from the fleece. What is the meaning of fleece? With a hair. 
So, did you get here sheep, goat, camel, yak, llama, alpaca? All these are animals which yields, which gives us hair or fleece. From that we get wool. Now these animals generally have got a very thick coating of hair on their bodies. Why do they have it? First of all, the hair on their bodies because to keep them warm. These are hairs have the capacity to trap air, and we all know that air is a poor conductor of heat and heat. So the hair uh, keeps the body warm. It does not allow the heat of the body to escape through the hair. You understand? So it traps the body heat among the hair. The wool that we are using generally is sheep wool, and yak wool you find in Tibet and Ladakh are from Angora goats. The wool which we get is very soft and is used for making shawls and camel hair is also used as wool. Any problem so far? Do you understand the types of wool that we get from different types of animals? Hello? Hello? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes? You understood yes, the slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now we'll see one by one the animals from where we are getting the wool. This is the sheep. Can you see this? Sheep. Yes. This yes, ma'am. Can yes. you see this? Yes. Look at the fur of the sheep. Can you see that? This is one. Then we have got the angora goat. See, look at the. Yes, goat, goat. Like sheep. Thirty-one. Yeah. These are the goats. Yes. Then we have the yak. Yak. Can you see this better? This is yak. Yes, ma'am. Then we yes. have the camel. See, even camel has got hair. Can you see this camel? Yes. Okay. Now, can you see the difference between these two camels better? This is the Bactrian camel. What is this? Bactrian camel. It's got two humps. Can you see this humps? It has got two humps. Yeah. And here it has got only one hump. This is Asian camel or ordinary camel. And this is Bactrian camel. Bactrian camel, you generally get it in Egypt. Yes. Okay. Then we have got a llama. Can you see this llama? Maybe this is llama. llama. Yes, this is llama. And this one is alpaca. Smaller, smaller type. See? This alpaca. Yes. Now we have got the silk worm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I see the silk worm. And it, it should not be there. The slide has come by mistake. This, this should not be there. It has come by mistake. Now we will first finish with the wool. We'll read it again as a, as a means of revision. Yes. Zohar? Yes, ma'am. Zohar, read beta. Wool is obtained from the fleece. Hair of sheep, goat, camel, yak, rabbit, llama, alpaca, and other animals. There, uh, these animals have a thick coat of hair on their bodies. Because the hair traps air and air is a poor conductor of heat. So thick layer of hair keep the keep the body warm and protect them from harsh cold. Harsh cold. Harsh cold. Harsh cold. Okay. For obtaining wool, animals are cleared and then their hair is cut and proceed into wool. So, did you understand nicely? It's the same type, but yes, in a different word. Right? It is in a different word, but the meaning is the same. What do you say? Yes, ma'am. Right, Peter? Okay. Do you want me to explain this slide? So, Haraba. Do you want me to explain this slide, no. Bitta? No. Boys, did you understand or do you want me to go through it again? No, ma'am. Okay. Read. Who's is the next chance? Who's the turn? Yes, sir. Okay. 
read start to read beta hills and wool bring animal hills and wool bring animal like sheep goat camel yak etc bigger two types of hair coarse hair coarse hair and fine soft under hair under hair under hair Right. But I cannot hear you. Either adjust your mic, please. I can't hear you. And now you can. No. Now, ma'am. Yes. Now it's okay. Start. Fine soap hair is found close. to the skin in such animal find read properly please soft and the hair of animal like sheep sheep goat etc is called fleece 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 animal have fine soft hair fleece on the on their bodies are called wool wearing animal but even you have to practice don't stop in between you can only stop when there's a full stop and comma and nowhere else don't break in between please understood all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am fleas and wool bearing animals now these fleas means what fleas is the fur along with the skin mm -hmm. When they shave it, the skin also peels off from the body along with the fur. That's called fleas. The fleas and wool-bearing animals. What are they? Who are they? Sheep, goat, camel, yak. They have got two types of hair. One is rough hair, which is called as coarse hair, and the other one is under hair that is very soft. And this soft hair is actually present very close to the skin. This under hair of animals. For example, sheep, goat. This under hair, which is very close to the skin, is called as fleece. What it is called, bitter? Fleece. Fleece, which is very close to the skin. Now, animals who are having this fine soft hair, they are called as wool-bearing animals. What are they called as? Wool-bearing animals. Is it clear? Is it clear, bitter? Yes, ma'am. Start to read. Let us finish wool today. Start to read, beta. Whose turn is it? Whose turn is it, beta? Jati, read. Sir, ma'am, sir, I am not Fazil. Okay, Fazil, read then. Yes, ma'am. Any more? My bread of sheep are found in India. Sheep gave milk and meat in adaptation. The wool, the red meat. Ita, I cannot meat. allow you. Fazil, I cannot allow you. I'm sorry. I just cannot allow you, Vita. You're breaking a lot. Okay. It's losing the meaning. If I'm not able to follow, your friends will also not be able to follow. Please. Whoever I'm asking you to. You know, get well in reading. Please start practicing right away. Every day, five minutes, you have to do the reading practice. And I will be asking you tomorrow again. Whenever we have got a lecture, I will ask you again to read it. Is it clear? And if you are not okay, then again I will stop you. Till you become perfect, I will keep on asking you to read. Is it clear to all of you? Is it clear to all of you, Zaki? Is this Zaki or who is he? Asaria, Fazil, right? Fazil, I am Zaki. Acha, Fazil, you have to improve a lot, beta. Is it clear? Don't break yes, in between. I cannot understand. Yes. Who else will read? Then Zaki, you start. Yes, ma'am. Zaki, can I? Yes, beta. Animal wool. Many breeds of sheep. Are found in India. Sheep give milk and meat. In addition to wool, 
but are weird. Many to obtain gold in different parts of the world. Don't Should stop. Keep... Don't stop in between. Otherwise, I will stop you, Vita. Amen. Yeah, Until like, there's a full stop or a comma, you will not stop. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Sheep wool is most common wool. Angora wool is obtained from Angora goats of Jammu Kashmir in soft uh, Jammu Kashmir in soft wool used for making shawl. Angora goats are found in hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir. Pashmina wool Pashmina wool is obtained from Pashmina goats. Thank you. Yak wool is Thank you, sir. Because you stopped up the pashmina, but then you just took it up as pashmina wool is obtained from pashmina goods. So that's what I like about you. Is it clear? So you understood that you should not stop yes, in between. Yes. That's why I said thank you to you. Yes, start. All of you understand. All of you observe how he is reading. How Zaki is reading. You understand now? This is what I want from all of you. Okay, beta. Yes, yakul, yakul. Yakul is often common. Yakul is often commonly. Don't stop in between. I said. Okay. Yakul is often commonly in Tibet and Ladakh. Good. Alpaca and llama found in South America also give wool. Camel hair is also used as wool. I can understand you are finding it a bit difficult, but that will improve you. You got my point? Yes. Yes, you found a difference. Yes, sir. Yes, that's how you will improve it. Now we have got different types of sheep available in India. That is called breeds. What are they giving us? They give us milk as well as meat, and in addition, they give us wool. Now, generally, they are grown for obtaining wool. In all over the world, which is the common wool that we use is the sheep wool. Angora wool is another wool which we get from Angora goats, observed in available in Jammu and Kashmir. Very soft, we use it to make shawls. They are found in hilly regions in Jammu Kashmir. Pashmina wool is another type of wool which we get it from Pashmina goats. Yak wool. We get it from Tibet and Ladakh, from Yak. <coughs> Excuse me. Alpaca and llama, which are observed in South America, they also give us wool. And camel hair is again is a resource for obtaining wool. Just you have to learn better. Okay, the names, where are they observed? Where do you find them? You got my point. Types of wool. So everything you have to learn. Now, what is this written over here? Breeding, uh, rearing, and breeding of sheep. So you understood what we are doing. The next one is rearing and breeding of sheep. Please continue. Zohair Abbas. Madam, shall I read that? If you are able to. We will not stop in between. Madam, shall I read? Yes, I said how I want you to read. I hope you understood. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, Zohair Abbas. Yes, miss. We start to read rearing and breeding of sheep. Sheep are reared in many. It's not sheep, but it is sheep. Sheep are reared hello, hello. in many parts. Go ahead. This one is sheep. Ma'am, I am not reading. Kasim is reading. Kasim is sheep. reading. Okay, fine. Kasim, it is sheep. It is not sheep. Yes, miss. Okay, sheep is this one. Better. S H I P. This is sheep. And what are we reading? Better sheep. Double E. So pronounce okay, it like that. Okay, start. Sheep are reared. Sheep are reared. Reared in many parts of our country. Our country. Very like good. Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh. Well done. 
राजस्थान गुजरात एक्सेट्रा शीप फीड ऑन ग्रास एंड लीव दे आर ऑल्सो फेड विथ अ मिक्सचर ऑफ पल्सिस कॉर्न जोवार ऑयल केक्स एंड मिनरल्स Yes, you are doing well. Winter Kasi. sheep Go. are kept in roots and fed. Fed on leaves. Read. What happened, fed better? On leaves, grain on leaves and grain and dry fodder. Some breeds, some breeds of sheep. Have thick hair on their body, which yield good quality in, in. wool in large quantities. They are selectively bred to get sheep of good breed. Still, you are uh, pausing in between. That otherwise you are doing good, better. Mm -hmm. Your pronunciation is better. The only thing is that you will not stop in between. That's the practice that you have to do. Is it? But you are better. Okay, Kasim. Kasim, do you understand what I said? Okay, Miss. Okay, just practice. Keep on. You will not leave. Keep on practicing. Now, sheep are developed okay. and grown in many parts of a country. For example, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and so many other states. we are growing sheep they eat grass and leaves and also they are given mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes you know what are oil cakes when you take out oil and the residue which is left is called as oil cake and also vitamins and minerals also given to them for their health it's good health during winter sheep are kept inside that is indoors and that time they are given leaves grain and dry fodder what is meaning of fodder the feed that you give to the animals is called as fodder and the grains that you give to the birds are called as feed this is the difference between the feed and fodder you understand fodder is given to animals and feed is given to birds is it clear boys yes ma'am Yes, understood. Okay. Yes, me. Now some some varieties of sheep they have got very thick hair on the body, and so we get good quality of wool in lots of amount. Now to breed them, so we'll take a female of a uh, uh, you know like good quality and a male of good quality, and then we cross them. We allow them to mate. So the babies that will come out will be uh, uh, having a good quality of wool. Isn't it better? that's how they improvise that's how they improve the amount as well as the quality of wool is the same thing is for the revision purpose i have taken it purposely so again please take up please read zohar abbas start with sheep are in many parts of our country like jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttar uttaranchal uttaranchal sikkim arunachal pradesh haryana punjab rajasthan gujarat etc sheep feed on grass and leaves they are also they are also feed with a mixture right. of pulse corn jowar all cakes oil cakes and minerals in winter sheep are kept indoor and fed on leaves grains and dry fodder don't see full stop and commas in between beta zohe yes ma'am you don't see a full stops and commas yes ma'am i have but you are not stopping what's the point then whose mic is on Just check with and let me know the name. Give me the name. Whose mic is on? My mic was on. Now it is shut. Be careful. Okay. 
Now what are we going to do? Processing primary wool. So we got wool. Have we got wool or we have got fibers? Fur. We have taken the hair, isn't it? We have cut the hair. Yes. Yes. And now it has to be processed into wool. So what are the steps of processing? Let's find out. Say. Processing of wool. Of processing of changing place into wool in the following six steps. Read. Shearing, scouring, 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 sorting. What's wrong? Birth separation, dyeing, spinning. These are the activities that is involved in processes of changing fleece into wool. So we'll see one by one what are the what are they. Now we are detailing it, okay? Read better. Hello? Yes, miss. Yes, read better. Hi. <coughs> Who is it? Raudani Kasim Reza. Okay, Kasim, read better. Number one, the fleece and of the sheep is removed from its body along a thin layer of the skin by using machines. This process is called shearing. No, stop. Number two. Stop. 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 Now, yes. removing the hair of the sheep with the skin also by using a machine or a razor is called as shearing. So you understood what is shearing, Bitta? We are removing the hair from the body. And along with the hair, the upper skin also comes out. This is called as fleece. Is called as shearing. All of you understood? Second better. Okay, Miss. Sheet skin with hair is washed in tanks to remove grease, dust, and dirt. This process is called scouring. Now, what is scouring? The shearing is done. Now comes scouring. The skin or the fur or the hair with the skin which comes out of the body has got lots of dirt, has got a lot of oil, grease, so it has to be washed, isn't it? So we take a huge tank with water and all this thing here is dipped in that water to remove grease, dust and dirt. This process is called as scouring. What it is called, Vita? Scouring. Third. Read. Okay, Miss. The hairy skin is sent to the factory where hair of the different textures are separated. This process is called sorting. Now, after wash, it is given to a factory. Now, in the factory, what is happening? That different textures, that means when you feel it, it may be smooth, it may be rough, it may be in between, that is separated. The separation is done, which is called as sorting. Next. Read. Okay, miss. The small fluffy fibers called burrs are separated from the hair is again washed and dried. So there are small, small fibers which are called rounded fibers which are called as burrs. They are removed from the hairs and again the hair is washed and then dried. Next. Read. The fiber has been dyed. The fibers are then dyed in different colors. Then it is okay, again sent for um, coloration. Fiber. It is sent for coloration, different colors. The different colors. Okay. Last, after coloring, what happens? The fiber are rounded components are sold into one. Then you know these fibers are with curls, isn't it? So obviously when it is curly, it is of no use. So it is straightened up and then it is combed and then rolled into yarn so that it can be spun and woven into cloth, that is fabric. Understood all of you? Understood all of you, Vita? 
Now we see how. Yes, miss. Same thing. I repeat. Yes. Okay. I repeat regarding processing of wool. Please start. Can I ask him, brother? Okay, beta. Fibers are then stated. Processing of the wool. Fibers are then straightened oh, that is and done. formed and called to. But I am in the next slide. That is done already. You can see the slide on your distance screen. Can you see the slide on the screen? Processing of the wool. Yes, processing of wool. Let Kasim read. The process end of the sleeping removed from the body along a thin layer of the left skin by using machine. Then, finish it up. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Has completed. The process of removal of the fleece from animal is called shearing. So the hair of the sheep with the dead skin is removed by using machine. This process is known as shearing. Then what happens? Read. Better make it fast. Hello. The skin with the hair of washing the egg, the remove gets dust and drip. Yes, miss. Continue, I said. The process of washing. Kasim, continue. One boy will read one slide. Yes, miss. Yes. Shared skin. And with the second yes, one. Yes, obviously the shared skin with hair is washed in tanks. You have not finished it. If you have not finished, it, you should read it again. Okay, miss. Shared skin with. Yes. Shared skin with with hair is washed in tanks to remove grease, dust, and dirt. Process of washing the shield wool in the hot water followed by drying is called scouring. Scouring. Now the skin, the shed skin, the wool with the dead skin which comes out, that hair is dirty, so it has to be cleaned to remove grease, dust, and dirt. This process of washing the shed wool along with the dead skin in hot water and then it is dried. The process is known as scouring. What is the process known, Beta? Hello? What is the process known? Scouring. Is it clear? Yes, miss. 